Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna to be going over how to beat DB Fire 2. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna run the DB Fire 2 in the most traditional way possible, which is base align, um, auto flip off, <clears throat> and then match coverage on. So yeah, it's not gonna be the other setup from last video. I got asked to run this, so um, I'm gonna be doing this out of the Detroit Lions playbook on offense, and then the KC playbook on defense. You can also run this out of multiple D uh, if you want to run the actual defense, but um, I'm just showing you how to beat it, whatever. All right, so the way you want to set DB fire up uh, traditionally is you just want to press and then move the safeties in, and that's it. You just want to move them near the box. Okay, so after that, um, now the biggest problem there are these uh, corner blitzers right here and right here. That is because the whole the whole point of this defense is to really get the blitz going first. Because the, uh, what's what's match coverage is gonna help with is that it's gonna cover the receivers for a certain amount of time, but by the time they get open, you can't have enough time to throw the ball and they'll sack you. That's the whole point of this defense. It's pressure, guard for like three seconds. If they're covered for like three seconds, you'll get sacked, and then that's the defense essentially. So <clears throat> today I'm gonna show you how to beat it. So yeah, I already set up the the defense. All you gotta do is streak the tight end. This is out of PA slot cross, by the way, and then. Motion this guy to the right, but right when he starts motioning, snap the ball. It's like this, like that. He'll block that corner, and you have a wide open receiver on that side of the field, because uh, the safety will go towards the streak, because it's match coverage, and completely leave that wide open, and you'll get <coughs> a lot of time, because the running back is blocking for you as well, so you have both corners getting uh, blocked and have plenty of time to, you know, throw it deep downfield. So, yeah. All right, so now let's go over it in um, basically any other formation that has two wideouts uh, for the wide receivers. So, for example, like this one right here it has two very far wide receivers. And uh, we'll just do this formation. It doesn't really matter. Just, again, any formation that has uh, that there. Again, if you want to, you can also do this. Because this way, soft squat will take the R1 route. The safety will take either the X or the B route, and then you just throw to either one where it doesn't take. You can see that it took the it was biting towards that side, so you can just throw it towards the tight end. And that's it, really. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd use that setup traditionally. Uh, this one right here. Just run that. Oh, I just completely just pressed two buttons at once. That was my fault. I just completely misread that. Uh, sorry, let me do that one more time. Like this. And then just throw the extra in the middle of the field. It's that easy. Now, if they're going to user it, you still have other options. Uh, again, you can just go back into tight. Because tight, again, is going to be probably the best way to beat this. <clears throat> you can also beat it like this in verticals. Um, I like to do this for my setup in verticals. If you do this, the tight end right here. Okay, that was a very bad animation. Uh, you can catch it right there. Now, depending on what the soft squat goes to. Um, you can leave the streak there if you want to on uh, square. If you do this, you can also throw this B route, but the only problem is that that soft squat's going to be there. Um, so I'd target the tight end, <coughs> if anyone. And uh, yeah, so that's how you beat DB Fire 2. It's pretty simple. Um, I, I think this is one of the most uh, easy ways to beat it. Uh, so again, let's go over it. I'm actually going to block the, or the running back here. And as you can see, that B route was, or the circle route was wide open. I mean, it was, I mean, it was about a, so like, I actually wasn't, I haven't been setting it up properly this whole time. So, hold on to me. Let's do that. And then, move these guys up in the box a little bit. Stop the ball. And the thing with Justin Herbert is that he has a horrible release. So. That's me barely getting barely getting it out. And he has one of the worst releases in the entire game. In mutt and in regs. Like it's horrible. <coughs> so it's uh it's not good. So you guys will have uh much easier time. If you have like Aaron Rodgers, you can definitely get that ball out, like no question. And if you and considering I'm probably gonna guess that you have fearless, so the pressure won't matter as long as you're in the pocket. And uh yeah. So anyway, I hope this video helped you guys out and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Now I'm serving in Tesla Going back, shawty with me, I stepped up GTA for the Ops, ain't no less stuff Shawty wanna be my
angel, yeah, I'm blessed, dog. Cooking right up in the stool, got a cheddar.